realized how much trouble I could get in, like knowing the other side of it, knowing that I could scramble out of stuff, I didn't want to get in that situation if somebody else knew what I knew. So um, some things that I work on with our guys to try and get them to finish a little bit cleaner. Come on here, man. Nice. Home of Chad Pike. <laughs> um, some things that I've worked on is, I, it's a knee pull single. You guys probably, most of you all know a knee pull single. Okay, but we call it an OB single. I stole this off of uh, OB Blanc um, when I was coaching at NC State. And I stole most of this elbow control stuff off of Coleman Scott. So I like to hit this, elbow control, Coleman St Scott style, finish, OB Blanc style. We call it an OB single in our room just to simplify it. Because everybody calls something different, we call it an OB single. Our guys understand it. Okay? Plus, I coach in the Midwest. Midwest guys are not always known to be the best scramblers. Everybody knows how to scramble now, but I'm originally an East Coast guy. You, you East Coast guys are funky monkeys. You guys learn to sprawl when you get to college sometimes. Midwest guys learn to sprawl and then they figure out how to scramble to keep up with the East Coast guys when they get to college. It's completely different like worlds. It's crazy to me. Living in both, it's, it's been an interesting dynamic. So, all right, I'm gonna go simple knee pull, step with this outside foot, reach with this hand. Said most of you know knee pull, but I'm gonna go through it quick. Here, now the big thing that I do different is when I start to finish. Just show of hands, how many of you guys, your coaches told you, get your hands locked on the leg? Get your hands locked on the leg. Decent amount of hands, right? Okay? I don't want to lock on the leg, not because getting my hands locked in general is a bad idea. That's a good way to finish shots. It's better than not having your hands locked and being all stretched out. But if I'm going ideal world, I'm going here, and I'm going to punch down the back. Okay, That gets me my angle. I already have an angle. I have a punch, and I slide to the ankle, and I keep my head up. Now what this does is eliminates a lot of his scramble options. He's still going to wrestle and fight here, like he's going to do stuff. But yeah, so he did that. Pick up the leg. You feel uncomfortable as soon as your leg came off the mat? Yeah. As soon as he sit, like goes to sit, his leg comes off the mat. Okay, here, legs off the mat, my head's high, that's an easy finish. If he tries to sprawl once I get here, no, no, let me get, let me get there. If you get there, okay, yeah, if you stop me first, I might actually have to lock my hands. But if I get here and he sprawls, he also falls down. Couldn't move the foot back, right? So then if he falls forward, if he falls forward, I'm out the back. I've eliminated most of what he would do to scramble. Because if he gets in that same position, punch your hand. Punch, switch your hands. Punch this one. Yeah, right here. Okay, most of you guys that want a leg pass are going to go that way, right? You want over here somewhere, or you want to fall and grab this ankle. Whichever you choose. Guess what? My leg's straight. If I do either of those, my knee's going to be up in the chandelier somewhere. It's going to pop so loud. So I have, I have options of defend basic. Look how easy my foot came up. Okay, defend basic. Try and sit. That just makes me look stupid. I look like a fool. So, all I can really do if he gets in this position is try and fight his head and hope that he makes a mistake. Okay? Which he probably won't. He probably do the right thing, pick my foot up, put me down. Okay? So for right now, I'm not even going to worry about finishes. I just want to see you guys get to the right place with the right timing, OK? Because this happens, I'm breaking it down slow. But in a match, this is going to happen quick. The guy's not going to just stand with his leg chilling like this. He's going to think about sprawling. So I got to get here, OK? So that means I can't go hands locked and then change my mind. Not unless he reacts as slow as I'm reacting, OK? So when I actually hit this, okay, for you guys, if you haven't done this before and this is new to you, go as slow as you need to to get your hands right. Once you get your hands right, it'll start to feel better and better and better. Left hand to knee, okay, left hand to knee, right hand punches, and my right knee drops, and then I slide down. Those are the steps. My head stays up, I'm right here, okay? questions on that. That's all as far as I want you to go right now, then we'll play with finishes, and then I do have some things towards the end for, hey, I screwed up and my hands ended up locked. I can solve that problem too. But let's get here first. This is ideal. 
Here we go. One, two.